morning, Alex. Morning, Tim. Lovely to be here with you. We had a wonderful evening with the Directors Forum last month. Mm -hmm. People hadn't realised how quickly you'd expanded rate outlets in four years in a time when most people are actually not doing so well. How did you manage to be so successful? Well, I think we were driven by the customer demand, really, because um, with petrol price prices going up so much and uh, parking being so awkward in Hereford, people weren't wanting to travel. So we decided if we took the cartridges to the people, it would solve that problem. And it's um, proved to be the case. Right. And recycling is a really big part of the business. And I just wonder what the key message is, really, for people who are keen on that sort of agenda. Well, it's really important because reuse is the single most uh, effective way of reducing carbon footprint because, of course, you're not manufacturing a new cartridge every single time. You're simply filling it up. Mm. And I remember um, on the evening, one of the points you made was that you felt that government legislation may kick in before long to force people to look at the greener options. It is already starting in public bodies and so forth. Um, there are requirements that they uh, do recycle cartridges, but it's not quite the same as actually uh, refilling a cartridge locally and then resupplying it locally. So there's still a lot of work on that score to mm. be done. One of the things we chatted about uh, that evening, Alex, was this idea of agents that collect cartridges. How does that work, please? There are a lot of agents around the country who collect on behalf of charities and a lot of people will know that if they buy an original cartridge they might get a little plastic envelope that says please put your empty into here and send it away. Um, a lot of those are in aid of charities. The agents take all sorts of cartridges and then sift through them and then they'll sell them on sometimes to people like us. We also act as agents to a certain extent, in as much as we collect cartridges from charities and from schools and then we pay them for those that we are able to use. So we do like to support the local charities and people like St Michael's Hospice are collecting for us and we then pay them. Anything we can't use doesn't get thrown away, it gets sent off for proper recycling. Mm. And uh, the printer manufacturers themselves, are they... Uh a bit precious about their own cartridges or do they welcome refill cartridges? They're very precious about their cartridges. Um, they change the design partly as technology changes but they also out of principle change the design for that reason so that they have to encourage you to buy new cartridges um, in order to make them money. Mm. And uh, finally Alex, uh, what about online? Is that something that affects your business? Well, we are online in a small way, um, but the nature of refilling does need the empty cartridge back. So we do find that actually it works better when people come in in person because obviously you're not having to fund postage to the customer and then postage back from the customer for the empty cartridge. And so our prices are more competitive if it's done locally. It is important to be online though because some people don't want to make a 40 mile round trip just to buy a cartridge, but the online presence has affected what we do to a certain extent because a lot of people try cheap cartridges from the internet and then come back to us because they haven't worked or they've caused a problem in the printer or they can't get around some technical issue and that's where we come in because we have the technical expertise and people like that service expertise. You do need that, You've got a, a cartridge is no good if the printer doesn't work so Absolutely. we've always found that the backup support and service is really valuable. Thank you. Well, that's a pleasure. Well, it's been wonderful to come here, Alex. And we have a so great evening with everybody. So uh, all the very best for the future. Thank you very much, Tim. That's a pleasure.